I'm Amy Wolf with this week's ViewCast. It's no secret that for many people, healthcare and health insurance is a mess. One vulnerable expert insists the keys to fixing the healthcare crisis are to tax our benefits, treat health insurance more like car insurance, and for healthcare companies to hold us accountable for our actions. One problem that we have is that um, I'm a balding middle-aged fat guy, all right? As an employee here at Vanderbilt, and I pay the same family policy rate as all of my colleagues who are bikers and really health conscious and make all these great trade-offs, there's no individual accountability because there's no individual underwriting. My rates are not based on my underlying lifestyle choices, which are the primary determinant of how much health I'm going to con- healthcare I'm going to consume over the long run. So we need to get to a world where I'm held individually accountable for the decisions that I make. Larry Van Horn, who leads healthcare programs at the Owen Graduate School of Management, says there should be a difference between health insurance, which he thinks should be reserved for emergencies, and health maintenance or prepaid health care. It would be like if you put in your auto insurance policy oil changes, tire rotations, tune-ups. And if those elements were part of your auto insurance policy, your auto insurance policy would be much more expensive. You can hear more of Van Horn's opinions on the health care crisis on Vanderbilt.edu slash news or YouTube.com slash Vanderbilt. In this economy, paying for college can be a huge stress for parents and students, no matter what school you're looking at. Vanderbilt's Associate Provost for Enrollment and Dean of Admissions, Doug Christiansen, is taking his expertise to YouTube to help families understand financial aid and what questions to ask financial aid officers at any school. Financial aid isn't meant to be overwhelming. It's not meant to be scary. It's not meant to think, oh my gosh, my child will never go to college. It's that you're talking about it whenever that point comes, and then what do I need to do from there forward to make it work. You can see the full video on youtube.com slash Vanderbilt. Imagine working your tail off in college and medical school and then being handed a secret envelope that tells you where you're going to spend the next years of your life. That's what happened to more than 100 Vanderbilt Medical School grads in an emotionally packed match day. ViewCast Princine Lewis shows us this medical drama. It's about an hour before match day and Vanderbilt medical student Brent Savoy will soon find out his fate. Today, um, you know, I'm just excited to be finding out where I'm going. What's nice is that there's a lot of places where you can get uh, great training, and um, I'm just really excited about um, starting my residency. It's true, match day is a big day, and it has helped Brent make an important match more than once. He and his wife, Corey, who is now practicing medicine at Vanderbilt, had their first date on her match day. Her parents were there at her match day, and so I met her parents before we had even gone on our first (laughs) real date, which was a bit uh, premature, but... uh, Turned out to be, work out fine because now I see them all the time. And <laughs> <laughs> she's been able to talk me down after the, through this process and you know, saying, she's like, I know it feels really nervous right now, but everything's going to work out okay. And, and the envelope, please. And I'm going to radiology and I'm going to Johns Hopkins. <laughs> Cheers, excited hugs, and sights you would only probably see at a medical school happen after the big reveal when many students found out they will be going to some of the top hospitals around the country. Yes, this is my, uh, my lucky charm here, uh, my trust me, I'm a doctor shirt that I, I came to Vanderbilt with and now I'm leaving Vanderbilt with. And the last student who found out? Well, she got an extra bonus for waiting on pins and needles the longest. The infamous money pot, where each student drops in a dollar, and the cash goes to the last student whose name is called. 
I was very, very nervous uh, just waiting for my match announcement. But toward the middle of the match, I thought, you know, I've waited for so long. I better be the last one. I want to be the last one. <laughs> <laughs> For ViewCast, I'm Princine Lewis.